Hi, my name is Ken Jones and I'm from the technical marketing and engineering team here at Extreme Networks. I'm here to talk to you today about Extreme Cloud IQ and how it can be used to gain insights into your wireless and wired networking. You see, typically when you talk about network management, people talk about how easy it is to configure something, you know, to configure a device, to push a policy to that device, to get those devices out onto the network. And with XIQ, this is a fairly straightforward process. Administrators just need to add a serial number, assign a network policy, assign a location, and add the device. A few minutes later, it's ready to go. If they're adding a ton of devices, a CSV file can be uploaded and the same process follows. And all the devices are added at once. If they need to add their on-prem devices for monitoring purposes from XIQ side engine, from XCC, even from Wang, all they need is the serial number of the controller. And all those devices can be seen in XIQ as well. Matter of fact, we have a mobile app. You can just take that app, scan the serial number of the device, follow the same process of adding a policy and a location, and you're good to go. This is all great, but in reality, let's face it, you configure your network once. You manage it, on the other hand, forever. Adjustments are made, configurations are tweaked, policies are changed based on the needs of the users and the performance of the network. So it's important to have visibility to how well the network is running so we can determine if these adjustments need to be made. That's why I'm gonna take a few minutes to go into Extreme Cloud IQ and point out some of the diagnostic capabilities and help interpret what the charts and graphs and multicolored half circles actually mean. Let's get started. The ML Insights Network 360 menu is probably the first place to start. Besides the network topology and floor plan maps, that provide understanding of where devices are located and how they are connected and what clients are connected. ML Insights provides what is basically a scorecard for several different categories related to the network. Each one of these can be drilled into to gain more information, but right off the bat, this is where you would look to quickly determine if you do indeed have any pressing issues that need to be addressed. So let's start with the devices scorecard. This basically shows you a macro view of all the devices in your network. There are three parameters that are being looked at in this view. Device availability, device hardware health, and configuration and firmware. The time range defaults to one hour, but it can be adjusted by day, week, or month. In fact, any particular time range can be selected by highlighting it within the timeline. Doing so updates the rest of the information on the page to reflect this time range. This particular feature holds true for all the views within XIQ that present this timeline graph. As you can see, the overall score is quite good in this case. Device availability shows that the devices have been connected 100% of the time. Hardware health shows that the CPU usage is quite low and there's adequate power being supplied to all of the APs in the network. In fact, the only issue that we are currently having is that there are some devices that need to have their firmware updated. Below this are more specific charts that provide a more succinct breakout of the same parameters, as well as records of any channel change events, DFS events, or device reboots. In short, this view will allow you to pinpoint any singular devices or specific sites that may be having issues. The Client Health Score provides health information in relation to the client devices attached to the network. The three parameters being measured here are the Wi-Fi health score, the network health score, and the application health score. Specifically, average signal strength and data rates along with transmission rates are studied to determine the overall score. Distribution of clients using 2.4 and 5 gigahertz are presented along with the number of clients on a specific channel. What is interesting within this view is not just the overall health score, but this view also provides information showing the maximum client capabilities that the clients on the network can achieve. For instance, note that on this network there are 14 clients that at best support 11BGN, and none that support 11AX. There's apparently no need to support older wireless client technologies as there are no clients that need to use them. If you found over the course of time that more and more users were reporting the ability to use 11AX, you might decide to begin upgrading your infrastructure to accommodate them. Moving on, the Wi-Fi Health Scorecard provides a timeline chart that looks at data usage, the number of clients on the Wi-Fi network, and the overall Wi-Fi health. That overall health score is based on the network's signal to noise ratio, channel utilization, and the number of client associations per radio. 
Above and beyond this general Wi-Fi health score, the channel usage charts allow you to select any particular channel that was being used during the selected time frame and check out the SNR, RSSI, and noise statistics for all of the samples collected. This allows you to see overall if there are any issues. As you can see here, most of the samples collected show that readings are in the acceptable range. Lastly, the data rates and retries charts allows you to look at the negotiated transmit and receive data rates and compare them to the number of retries. Too many retries may be indicative of interference issues or roaming problems. The remaining scorecard options provide similar types of views. For instance, the network health view looks at internet availability, as well as internet performance by looking at the average latency for internet access for the clients on the network. The services health view looks at specific services like DHCP, DNS, NTP, as well as any authentication services that may be used on the network. When gathered together, all of this information provides a very comprehensive view of the network's overall health. A separate view of the same set of statistics is available in the Network Scorecard section of ML Insights. Within this menu, the Device, Client, Wi-Fi, Network, and Services Health Scores are presented, but in this case, it allows administrators to compare a single site against the network as a whole. Selecting a site provides the current score and its 30-day average, while juxtaposing it against the current scores for the entire network in all locations. Using this tool allows administrators to find problem locations and then compare deployments in order to determine if adjustments need to be made. Now, you may or may not have spent some time looking at the cloud view in XIQ. Basically, this view shows the number of XIQ instances, managed devices, um, active clients that we have around the world, as well as the billions upon billions of management events that we are seeing each day. Now, we're not just putting this information out there because we're bragging. Um, well, maybe we're bragging a little bit, but there's a lot more to it than that. These events are the fuel for our MLAI engine. For example, another tool at the disposal of XIQ administrators is this comparative analytics tool. What this tool does is measure three statistics, bandwidth usage, number of unique client devices, and average number of clients with poor health. It then anonymously compares that information against similar sized networks within the same industry and rates where your network stands. So you may think that everything is fine with your network, and that it's working well, but if you find that, for instance, the average number of devices with poor health is higher in your network than it is in other similar sized networks, you may have things that you need to check out. Up until now, what we've been talking about is the big picture. How is the whole network doing? How is the particular site doing? But what about the individual clients using the network? Are there tools in XIQ that provide insight into individual client statistics? connection statistics performance? Is there a way to determine how well the service is operating for them? For this, we go to Client360. In Client360, we can look at individual users, peruse their events, and compare their network health with the rest of the users on the network. Clients are listed in real time as well as historical views. Filters can be applied to hone in on particular locations, networks, or user profiles. Upon selecting an individual client, Note the data path to the internet is presented in a graphical format at the top of the page. Also note the details for the user on the left side of the screen. Within this client view, the individual is compared with the rest of the network clients. The average RSSI graph shows a bell curve indicating where the lion's share of the clients fall. The blue line indicates the RSSI number for this particular client. Similar information is provided for the SNR number for this particular client. Hence, in this case, the client health overall is as good or better than most of the rest of the clients on this network. Client radio information provides the transmit and receive rates, as well as the success rate for data transfers during the client's most recent session. Below this, Client trail information provides RSSI and SNR information for each session along with data usage. Expanding an individual session exposes DHCP, DNS, and default gateway reachability, as well as response time information for that session. All of this is critical information when troubleshooting network issues. For instance, complaints about poor network connectivity could seem like a Wi-Fi issue, but if the session information shows instead poor DNS response times, it may not be a network issue at all, but instead a DNS server problem. 
At the bottom of the Client 360 view, network usage information, including application information and negotiated data rates, is provided. And finally, maximum client capabilities for that individual client is presented. So we've looked at everything that XIQ has gathered about this client, but what if we need greater detail? This is where we employ the Troubleshoot Now Client tool. Upon selecting this tool, XIQ runs a series of tests against this client and provides an audit trail for each event between the client and the services that it is interacting with. After the tool has completed its job, this trail can be then downloaded and studied for errors in the authentication process. This level of detail and the ease in which it can be obtained can cut down on the time spent troubleshooting network issues. So this completes my overview of some of the visibility and analytics tools available within Extreme Cloud IQ. I hope it was helpful, and thanks for listening.